G'day everybody. Welcome to our uh, BADOC uh, damper demonstration today. Uh, my name is Patrick Egg and I'm a, uh, a Noongar man from uh, the Balladong and the Ewart tribe. With me today is um, Angelo Shepherd. I am a Noongar yoga from Perth, I'm born and raised here. And I've got, today I'm going to try and give um, Angela some tips and some ideas how to make a damper as such. Uh, I know for a fact that some people put milk in their damper, um, yeast in their damper, but we don't do none of that. We don't put no milk and no yeast. It's just self-raising, plain flour, a bit of salt, and a little bit of olive oil, mixed up with some water. Um, okay. Patrick, can I ask a question? Yep. Which one is the best brand? This one's home brand. Is that a cheap brand? <laughs> 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 is that the best one that you can use? Olive oil is olive oil. I've, just speaking of olive oil, I have never had olive oil in damper before. You don't have to put olive oil in the damper if you don't want to, but I just find by putting a bit of olive oil in it, it makes it a little bit moist, so when it does rise and it does come out, it is a little bit moist as such, and it can last more than a day, for example. Okay. 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 So we'll get into making the damper, right? Eh? What do you reckon, Angela? Yeah, let's try this. So if you want to put three scoops of self-raising flour in yours. Do you have to measure it by a spoon or can you just pour it in? No, no, most people would have a measuring cup and you can pour do it like that. It's one and a half teaspoons spoon. Of plain flour. Is that half? Yeah. A little bit less. That's about the size, yeah. There. That's about as much plain flour as you need, yeah. And a pinch of salt to, to give it a bit of flavour. Also, we'll put in a, a drop of olive oil. Well, why don't you make your damper without olive oil, and I'll make it with olive oil, and we'll see what the taste like. I want mine fluffy, can I have milk in mine? <laughs> huh? Milk. Milk? It's just I haven't got any milk, we didn't milk the cow today, I'm sorry. <laughs> well then, so what the, we were just water and flour, and will it be salt. moist or not? Yeah, because we're not going to be cooking it that long as such, okay? So if that's that, then why are we going to add oil if it's going to be like that anyways? I just add oil because I, I felt that I needed to make mine a little bit moist <laughs> so that it'd last more than a day if I was going to eat it as such. Difficult to talk about yoga there. <laughs> okay, to pour a bit of water in. Now you don't have to pour all the water in, just, just a little bit of water and then mix up the flour as you go along. Just to sprinkle a bit of flour on your surface so the flour doesn't stick to the, to the surface itself. How should I um, like mix this? <laughs> mix it so that it's it's still moist and wet in, inside, but dry on the outside with a bit of flour <laughs> around the outside. Well, why did it turn out like that? <laughs> hey, that's not moist. You'll, you'll get better at it. Do you reckon it'll be better with a rolling pin or hands work the magic? <clears throat> that's it. Okay. So you're sort of creating a ball where where it's going to be, and then you start to pat it down and roll it a little bit and push it down, compress it, but not too much, otherwise it won't rise and it won't taste good, it'll be doughy, and it will I look like that. <laughs> That's okay, look. And it's just a matter of grabbing it for more points, turning it around like such. So, you've got the dough ready to, to press a little bit, so you can then press it out a little bit with your fingers, not too much. Keep going. Can I do berry ones? Don't have to play the piano or just press it out with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what it is about making a damper as such, it's not a complicated um, meal to prepare or, or make. Uh, it's only complicated if you don't roll it properly and um, you don't knock all the air out of it properly. If you roll it too much, it becomes too doughy. Okay? Okay. We'll put it in the oven 
and then we'll have a taste with some butter and everything else. Until it's been 45 minutes roughly, yep. the damp has been in there for that, for that long. It's time to get them out, it's time to have a taste. Uh, let's go and get them. Yes. Whoa! Fabulous. This is that one. That's yours. <laughs> what? That's my one. Yes. Okay, let's have a look. That's big. You sure it's not yours? No. Yeah, that looks like yours there. <laughs> Don't we need to tap it? No. The flower? It is the end product. So if we just break it up. Angel, if you want to just uh, break yours and see what it looks like inside. Right, you can use those two things. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might use it like that way. It should be crispy on the outside also, crusty, so, so it all looks well and tastes good, eh? Now it's just a matter of cutting a little bit. Actually, it looks better than the first one I ever made. Yeah, it looks better. Last time I made it, it was like this thin, and I throw it in the bin. Oh, is sure. it, is it soft this. inside? Yeah. And it shouldn't taste too salty, and um, it should be crusty on the outside because you want to make sure that the crust is on the outside like normal bread, uh, and then being able to eat it with anything, whether it's jam, Vegemite, or a stew. Tell us what it's like, Angela. Well, the jam tastes weird. That's probably why, because it's select. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to sample the damper also? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Patrick's. Uh -huh. This is my one. Do you have to try it? Yeah. 